Hi, I'm Jordan Baton from Limit State, and today I'll be explaining how to use the problem specification component in Peregrine, the structural optimization plugin for Grasshopper. The problem specification component combines one or more domains and the applied loading for input into the layer optimization component. The domain input accepts one or more domain outputs from the domain component. The load case input accepts one or more load case outputs from the load case components. The units input is used to define the units of length used for the geometrical measures defined in Grasshopper. For more information on how to do this, watch the How to Change Units in Peregrine video. The Euler Buckling Post Process input is a Boolean which allows the user to select if Euler Buckling is considered as part of the post processing stages. Please note this differs to Euler Buckling when considered as part of the layer optimization stage and requires a standard or professional license. The effective length input is a multiplier on the length of the member required to cause it to buckle as pin pinned. The settings input is used to apply general settings to the problem. The mirror plane input defines the plane at which mirror symmetry is applied. The surface normal vectors must be set such that the defined supports and loading lie on the plane or to the rear. The problem specification output connects into the problem specification input of the layout optimization component or the construct topology component. Panels can be used to check the units and materials used in the problem by connecting the units or material output to them. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website.